I am Anil Kumar and on request of my students, here is question number 9, page 362, Nelson Advanced Functions. So we are working on modeling with trigonometric functions. Well, one of your questions, that why am I not answering these questions, the reason is that their answers are pretty long and I can't really fit them in my half page solution. So I think I've got an innovative way of doing it, so I'll kind of provide you with partial solution here. The question here is, at one time, Maple Leaf Village, which no longer exists, has North America's largest Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel had a diameter of 56 meter and one revolution took 2.5 minutes to complete. Riders could see Niagara Falls if they were higher than 50 meter above the ground. Sketch three cycles of a graph that represents the height of a rider above the ground as a function of time. If the rider gets on at a height of 0.5 meters at t equals to 0 minutes, then determine the time interval when the rider sees Niagara Falls. Now go through this question once again to really understand what it is all about. But what in what we are given here in short is that the Ferris wheel has a diameter of 56. So let me write diameter as 56 meter and that means radius is half of 56 less to 56 by 2 and that is 28 meters now radius will be the amplitude for the sine wave so we know amplitude is 28 that's first part now second part is one revolution takes 2.5 minutes so the time period is 2.5 minutes therefore uh, the k value number of periods in 2 pi will be equals to 2 pi divided by 2.5 2.5 in fractions will be 5 and a half 5 by 2 right so we can write 5 by 2 it helps you see how 4 over 5 pi is the k value right so at times especially when working in trigonometry it's better to convert decimals to fractions probably this is the only place where it really helps okay so k is this so we know two things then rider could see Niagara fall higher than 50 meters above the ground sketch three cycles of the graph that represents the height of a rider above the ground as a function of time if the rider gets on at height of 0.5 meters so let's sketch three cycles we are starting from the bottom and let me sketch it here Okay, let's say these are my three cycles. So we have one, two, three. Okay, so these are the three cycles for us. Rider is getting on 0.5 meters above. So the axis is here, x axis. On the x axis, we'll have time t, right? So this is time, and you know, time is in minutes in this case. Now this is the y-axis, we start with the minimum and uh, y is in meters of course. So let's label it a bit. So minimum it is 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Now we have to add the diameter to this so that we get the maximum which is, let me use a different ink, it gets mixed up. Okay, so the diameter is 56 so the maximum will be 56.5 I hope you get it right now <laughs> so you know maximum minimum that helps us to find the average value that is the axis of this graph now the axis is add them divide by 2 M mean right so we have 56.5 plus 0.5 equals to divide by I did multiply so I'll do 0 0.5 equals to 28.5 okay so this point is 28.5 for us so we know the axis right since we know the axis and all this secondly we are starting from a minimum right so starting with minimum is better to use cosine function with a negative thing so I think we have all the parameters which will give us an equation now so let's write down the equation. So we say the height or 
So determine the time interval when the rider sees Niagara Falls. So we'll find that also when it is 50. So we'll work on that. Now let me write the function f of x as equals to amplitude is 28. So we are using cosine function cos of k values 4 over 5 pi. Now the variable we are taking as t. We are starting from minimums. So we'll write minus here. So that helps us phase shift is taken care of and x is at 28.5 so that's the equation for us perfect now the second part of this is when can the rider see Niagara Falls right so that is when the rider is 50 meters or above let's draw a dotted line here and this is at 50 meters now from the figure what you can note here is that these are the different timings do you see this is one duration this is the second duration in the second cycle and that's the third duration in the third cycle one more thing which you notice here is time period is 2.5 minutes that means from here to here it is 2.5 is it okay the center value should be at half of that right so let me write here 1.25 perfect so so these points are same distance away do you see this point and this point are same distance away so the idea is to find when for the first time the rider will reach 50 meters above the ground then we'll subtract that time from 1.25 and that value we will add to 1.25 to get the next value so we get the duration during which the rider can see Niagara Falls in the first cycle. Now to find those points in the next two cycles, we will add the time period T, which is 2.5. So that is the strategy to solve this question, right? I hope at this stage you can pause and answer your question, right? So let's begin by writing f of x as 50 to find the first point, right? So we get 50 equals to minus 28 cos of 4 over 5 pi t plus 28.5 so we'll bring 28.5 on the left side so we get 50 minus 28.5 divide by minus 28 so that we get cos of all this pi t okay so that's that's the first part so let's do this calculation and we are getting a negative answer here okay so, so be careful about that part okay so, so what I will do is let me let me just show you the calculations first 50 minus 28.5 equals to divide by 28 I'm not putting minus yet so we get 43 over 56 right we know this this answer is negative right so what we will do is we'll find related acute angle so we'll keep it positive and find cos inverse of this okay shift cos inverse of the answer that gives us the alpha value right 0 0.6953 now this is a related acute angle do you understand so let me just show these calculations on this side okay so what i'm assuming here is with the positive value i'm finding the alpha related acute angle and this related acute angle is 0 0.6953 correct now as you know cos is negative in quadrant 2 so we, what we really found here this is a very important point for you to understand that's why I'm actually getting into details so what you really found is this alpha right this angle alpha you found but your real primary angle is this angle do you see that so that is 180 minus this and therefore we can write 4 over 5 pi t is equals to pi minus 0 0.6953 so we get that angle do you understand let's call this angle theta which is 4 by 5 pi t I hope you get the point right now from here we can find the first time okay so let's do this calculation so we have pi minus 
so so we have shift pi minus the answer which is equals to 2.4462 right so we get that as okay let me continue it's kind of important to show you all the steps since they are very critical so it is 2.4462 now from here t is equals to 5 divided by 4 pi times let's write 2.4462 right so we'll multiply this by 5 equals to divide by 4 divide by pi okay so that gives us t equals to 0 0.9733 so I'll just write this as 0 0.97 right so what we get here is this point which is 0 0.97 do you get my point since we have got one of the points the other point is we'll find the difference between 1.25 and this point and add that distance right so what is 1.25 so what I'm doing now here is trying to find this point right so this point will be 1.25 minus 0.97 let me round it to this figure which in 0 0.28 so it is 0 0.28 away from 1.25 so this distance is 0. 28, I will add it to 1.25 right so plus 1.25 gives me 1.53 so the next point for us is 1.53 you get the idea how I got this point right so in the first wave the time period is from uh, okay let me okay let me write it here so in the first wave the riders can see if the time period is from is from 0 0.97 0 0.97 so t is from here to 1.53 you get the idea now in the second wave it will be you have to add the time period and time period for you is 2.5 so add 2.5 to this so for getting other times you have to add 2.5 to both the values right so let's add 2.5 to 9.97 plus 2.5 equals to 3.47 so we get 3.47 let's add 2.5 here also again plus 2.5 equals to 5.97 5.97 this is the third cycle okay and then 1.53 1.53 plus 2.5 equals to 4.03 and then plus 2.5 equals to 6.53 so these becomes the interval during which the rider can see Niagara Falls I hope this short solution in little space helps you to understand the whole concept try to do these calculations and go through the video if you have difficulty or you can even write to me if you need further explanation right and all these times are in minutes so where t is in time in minutes okay so that is how you should be answering this question i hope that helps thank you and all the best